How's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again with a mad video for you guys. So, if it's your first time checking out one of my videos, first time you even come to the channel, man, make sure you guys drop a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 1k. Make sure you guys hit that sub button, man. It's free, it only takes one second. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. Now, as you guys know, Blitz promo obviously out, a lot of packs have been coming out. Um, here's the thing I did say I was gonna give my opinion about blitz um in my previous video i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and we're gonna also get into a few other things too now <clears throat> blitz is a very it's an interesting promo okay there's room for a lot of good things that happen for blitz but here here okay i'm, I'm gonna say this right when it comes to this Blitz promo, you guys have to be careful on what you use your coins on, or in some cases, if you guys spend money on the game, what you use your money on as far as whatever whatever bundles they push out. In my honest opinion, the only thing I personally feel that might be worth anything are the 50 players, right? And for obvious reason. Um... The 50 players, a lot of them have dropped down in price. A good amount of them. Except for the new ones who came out, which two of them being, you know, a, one is an Oakland Raider player, one of them did play for the Raiders, Warren Sapp, and Sebastian Janikowski, which I'm very happy that he's back in the game. And there you go, I have a Raiders kicker, a very good Raiders kicker now. So um, I will have those two guys on my team eventually. But um, besides that, like I said, the NFL 50s probably have the best value for player for you guys, okay? Now, I want to show you guys something real quick. Now, this can be for two reasons, okay? Depending on who you are or how you like to run your team, right? Now, Tyreek Hill, which everybody's been wanting to get and stuff like that, and I get it. It's Tyreek Hill, Cam Chancellor is another one a lot of people want to get. When it comes to Tyreek Hill, I personally, he, he's a good player in his own right, but he personally will not be on my team. The reason is, is that, yes, speed is nice to have on your team, but for, for Madden-wise, but at the end of the day, route running is another big part of this game, which a lot of people don't seem to, you know, really get when it comes to Madden. Now, when you when I look up Tyree Kills, right, right now his 87 is going for 30K. Either a lot of people are pulling him out of packs or a lot of people are selling his Tyree Kill. You know what I'm saying? It could only be one of the two because, like, I get people can just use their power-up pass or whatever to get the Tyree Kill. But when he's going for this cheap, you don't need to use your power-up pass. You can use your power-up pass on something else. You know what I'm saying? 30K for a Tyree Kill... I was a little bit surprised by this. I'm not going to lie. I really was. I really thought that he would be more like a sought-after card, but he really isn't. You know what I'm saying? And again, me personally, Tyreek Hill doesn't fit what I do personally. Now, for some people, he might with the speed that he gets, but for me, he doesn't. What I decided to do with my coins, and I'm sitting at 790k right now, um, I use some of my coins already to pick up Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs has fairly good speed, obviously not Tyreek speed, but he has good speed. And on top of that, he's a route, he's a route runner, his archetype, so he gets route technician, which suits my team better. A lot of my a lot of things that I run require for my receivers to get separation. Route technician makes sure that I get that separation that I need to get certain routes open. Tyreek Hill, as fast as he is, yes. I feel like I can't utilize his speed. Maybe like some other people can. Personally, I have Henry Ruggs anyway, so you know it really doesn't really make much of a difference to me personally. Now, the other thing, Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor's tricky, but at the end of the day, would it be nice to have Bam Bam on the team, 6'3", 
sitting in a box, playing in the back. Of course. Of course it would. 100%. But here's the issue with that. At the end of the day, when it comes to strong safeties, um, you know, granted, if we get, if we get, or who knows, whatever they're going to do with golden tickets, more than likely, Taylor Mays is going to be the best strong safety in this game from this point all the way to the end of the year. Okay, as far as speed, height, all that, Taylor Mays is going to be the best safety in the game. I just wanted to keep that perfectly clear. All right. Now, okay, well, I can put him somewhere else. I really can't because I have Ronnie Lott already. Okay, I'm not going to take Ronnie Lott out, at least not on my main team. I'm not going to take him out just to put Cam in. You know what I'm saying? There's nowhere that I can put Cam Chancellor at that I can utilize him as well as I want to. Now, maybe I can put him in a box and replace him for Jonathan Abram. Again, possibly, but... When it comes to if I want to man cover Jonathan Abram or whatever the case is, I need to have a safety that can keep up with whoever I'm man covering Jonathan Abram on when I'm playing nickel over G or whatever the case is. Speed-wise, Jonathan Abram is way faster than Cam Chancellor in this game, okay? So there's that, you know what I'm saying? You guys, make sure you're careful with the Blitz promo as far as picking up these... I guess, in a sense, big name players, quote unquote, because I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, I really don't think I'm gonna see a lot of Tyree kills, okay, and for good reason. And I don't think I you, I might see a few Cam Chancellors. I I can see that, but it just doesn't fit what I personally like to do. I can get wins and we can league without those players. I've been getting them without them anyways. So, you know. That, that's just my two cents on that whole aspect of it. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. You guys got to, you know, do what you guys want to do as far as your team and how you want to utilize certain players. <clears throat> but when it comes down to it, some of the promos that they rolled out so far, outside of the, um, I think it was only for like an hour or whatever, they had a promo for or a little, um, not a bundle, but they had like a 91 plus for the NFL 50s for like 10 bucks. To me, that's worth it. All right, 10 bucks for that? I'll definitely do that. Because the NFL the NFL 50 players, they're, to me personally, they're worth more in this game than any other player or any other promo so far in this game. You know what I'm saying? So to me, of course, the price has dropped. The market has obviously dropped because of this. But still, regardless, these players are good players. And um, speaking of NFL 50 players, um, so I went ahead, the um, 150 point pack that you get, that you get an 83 plus out of, as you guys can see, we pulled Calvin Johnson. Now, here's what I'm talking about when it comes to, now he's going for 445K, which I'm going to sell this Calvin Johnson. Here's why. Deep threat archetype does not help my team and what I like to do for my team. He can't get route technician, okay? That's number one. Number two being when you go ahead and you compare him to one of my other route technicians, Julio Jones, who is a 50 player also, he'll get powered up Calvin Johnson, okay? We'll get one more speed. He'll get one less jump. He will get the same catching, same catching traffic, one more spec. He'll have two less short. And oh, wrong button. He'll have two less short route running, and he'll have one less medium route running, and he'll have way more deep route running. Okay, but of course he's a deep threat. Of course he'll have way higher deep um, deep route running. But this is this is what I'm saying, right? Don't get a player just because of the name. If that player does not fit what you do, then it's not it's not going to be any use to you. Okay, Calvin Johnson, big name player. A lot of people love Calvin Johnson. It's on everybody's team, nine times out of ten, every single year. But this year, he does not fit what I like to do for my team. So just because it's Calvin Johnson doesn't mean, oh, well, I should probably keep this card. No, that doesn't make sense. When I could get that 445K and use that 
for something else that I might need along the road whenever we decide to get it. Charles Woodson got to be coming around the corner eventually. I can use that. Okay? Like, those things are more important to me than any stats. You know what I'm saying? The stats obviously mean a lot in Madden. I'm, I'm sorry. Plus one speed for 445K? That, I'm, that's not enough. I'm sorry. That's not. You're going to have one less jump than Julio Jones? Come on, man. And you're going to have pretty much the same catching stats? Literally the same catching stats? It's outside of spec catch, which you'll have plus one on? And that's it? Only plus one? I'm sorry, man. That that's just that don't make sense to me. You know? But again, it, it all when it comes down to it, it just all depends on what you guys like to do and what you guys don't like to do. If you guys rather have big name players on your on your team, then that's what you like. You know? But at the end of the day, that's my two cents on the Calvin. So um I am gonna go ahead and sell this real quick. And um hopefully we get our coins real quick. And um as far as who I'm going to pick up first on my on the theme team. Um, I'm going to try to do the set for the Warren Sap because right now Warren Sap the his actual card is only um his actual card is pretty pretty cheap. Um it's going for like 200 and something K, but of course the power up is going for like 500 and something K. So that doesn't really make much sense to me, so I'm going to go ahead try to do the set. And see if I can get it that way. I'm, it'll be way cheaper for me anyways. And for the Sebastian Janikowski, it might take some time. But I might just end up buying the Sebastian Janikowski, depending on how much he is. Just buying the um, the max one. Just flat out. And just leave it at that. Because powering him up, I, I don't know. You know, it to, to me, it really doesn't make much sense. If I can get Focus Kicker on just the regular one without powering him up, then I'm probably just going to keep it just like that, guys, because there's no point in me powering him up just so he can get one more kick power. That, that doesn't make sense to me. So I got to check it out and see if that could work that way. You guys let me know in the comment section below. If if, if you guys do know, let me know if he can get a uh, focus kicker, just regular, just the regular max one, and I'll probably just pick him up like that. But for the Warren Sap, I'm going to have to do this set because I obviously wouldn't want him powered up. But um, hopefully this Calvin Johnson sells quick. But um, either way, guys, like I said, just be careful. Oh, he sold. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, but like I said, man, just be careful when it comes to doing these um, doing these sets, man, or doing the um, Blitz promo, being participating in it. Um, if you guys want to do the uh, solos and stuff like that, feel free to go ahead and do that. Like I said, me personally, I, I just to me, I don't feel the need that I have to do that route. I don't have to go down that route to do this Blitz promo because to me, this Blitz promo is not all that in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, outside of Josh Jacobs, um, I really don't see anybody else that I'm willing to pick up. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tyreek Hill, yeah, it's Tyreek Hill, I get it. Very fast player, but I got if I want a fast player, I got rugs. Okay, so there's that. Cam Chancellor, it's Cam. I get it, but doesn't fit what I want to do. Okay, and even even if he did, Jonathan Abram could do the exact same thing, or if not better, because Jonathan Abram has better speed than Cam Chancellor. So, you know, there's that I got to take into consideration. And also, again, like I just showed you with the Calvin Johnson, 400 plus K for a card that only has one more speed than Julio Jones. I don't think so. I'd rather take that 400k and use that towards something else. You get what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. I got lucky with the Calvin pool, so I'm very happy about that. But um, I will be getting gameplay out to you guys as soon as I can. Give you guys a, a, an update on my main team and also on my theme team in another video. But the theme team gameplay, I'll try to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. But I do want to have Warren Sap before I get that gameplay out to you guys. So. Be patient. I'll keep you guys updated to what's going on and everything like that, all right? But um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Make sure you guys drop some laughs on that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Join your family support. It always means a lot. Till the next one, guys. Peace.